Welcome to Know Your Mobile. It's Basil here, back from the bedlam that was CES 2013, and I'm unboxing an HTC One SV for you. The HTC One SV is a mid-range offering. It packs 1.2 gigahertz dual-core processor. There's a lot to like about this phone. Number one, the price point is going to be very reasonable. We've heard it's available on L um, everything everywhere, and they've kindly provided us with this handset. That's because it's a 4G LTE phone. Now onto the unboxing video. As you can see, it's standard HTC packaging. Uh, you've got a picture of the One SV on the front, and on the reverse of the actual packaging you've got some specs that we're going to reel off as we talk you through the phone itself. If we swipe, uh, slide off the sleeve we can see the cardboard box underneath that will come off. There you go. Underneath HTC embossed on there and that's about it. Unboxing the actual phone and that is the first thing that strikes you as you open the box. Um, we can take a quick gander around the device and we can see glossy, glossy display, matte backing and it is a removable back cover we do believe so we can slide our finger under there. Um, we can find the battery in the actual box itself. So as we unbox we've got some literature we'll look at later and the uh, 1800 milliamp battery so that's pretty nice si uh, size considering it's a 4.3 inch device um, so we can find the back cover close it all up and as the device powers up whoop, we can talk you through the contents of the box power up power up hopefully it has battery and yep it has battery perfect so in the box, very, very standard, you've got HTC power plug, you've got standard power connector, micro USB, and uh, headphones as well. As you can see, uh, the phone just made a little HTC jingle. The box is empty, we can clear all this from oopsie, the shot a little bit and talk you through some of the literature so we've got a safety guide and a regulatory guide blah 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 boring boring um htc1 sv uh information which we managed to figure out ourselves very handy if you didn't um actually that does point um us to something which we didn't mention in terms of what's underneath the back cover battery micro sim micro sd card slot so it is expandable, which is lovely news. It's got eight gigabytes of memory on board, by the way. So now talking you through the design of the actual phone and the fascia is rounded corners, very, very glossy front. Um, it's attractive, it co it's comfortable in the hand. From the renders, we weren't sure. We thought it would be a little bit thicker than it is. We don't have the dimensions, but it certainly doesn't feel like a very thick phone and the tapered corners, um, sides, sorry, make that uh, very, very uh, comfortable to hold. It reminds us somewhat of a Nokia Lumia 710, for example, um, but at the same time, it's considerably more refined. The matte backing really helps with that, um, as there's a nice, sizable 4.3 inch display. And so kicking off, as we said, with design, three capacitor buttons, 4.3 inch LCD2 display, front facing camera, I think that's 1.6 megapixels, backside illuminated sensor, no buttons to the left, volume rocket to the right, micro USB port to the bottom, up top, 3.5mm headphone jack and power button, 5 megapixel rear facing, 28mm uh, wide angle BSI sensor on the reverse with HTC insignia, as we said, it's a 4G LTE phone provided from, by everything everywhere, thank you very much for that, um, and naturally being an HTC phone, you've got Beats audio technology on board. Let's just skip all this so that we can talk, get some more uh, first impressions of the screen. Okay, next, skip, 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 disable location, blah, blah, blah. Almost done. And skip, finish, power. So it's Android 4.0, uh, so ice cream sandwich, if you will. Uh, it's got Sense 4.1 on board. Not the latest version of Sense, but this is still going to be a pretty decent experience. It's not aimed at the cutting, well, bleeding edge uh, HTC fanboys. For you guys, you might want to look at the one um, HTC One X Plus or hold off until MWC either or. Um, but as you can see, the experience is still generally refined inside. You've got, as we said, 8 gigabytes of internal storage, 1 gigabyte of RAM, 1.2 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Plus processor inside. So it should run very, very smoothly um, indeed. It certainly feels very comfortable. We're impressed with the device on first impression. Um, probably the most standout points for us, we like this matte back cover, the way it sits in the hand. We're not so keen on the glossy, glossy fascia, um, but check back to Know Your Mobile for the full review where we'll let you know everything.
everything that we think in a much more, more conclusive way. Thanks for watching OE Mobile. I've been Basil. This has been HTC One SV. If you like this video, click like. If you like this channel, click subscribe. If you've got any questions or comments, please fire them in the comments section below.